Alright guys, no fluff, it's time to dye my dreadlocks, but before I get into dyeing my dreadlocks, I know there's something about my dreadlocks. It has a lot of buildups. The worst thing to have right before you dye your dreadlocks, because then when you dye your dreadlocks a different color, you're literally going to be adding more product and more things to your hair. And so if you already have a buildup, you're adding more buildup to that hair. And so how would I go by dyeing my dreadlocks with having buildups in my hair? I have to resolve the problem. I have to fix it as soon as possible. And I have a lot of buildup. Yeah, I haven't washed my hair in about a month now, so there's been a lot of buildups. I mean like ACV rinse, not shampoo, but ACV rinse it went in a month. And so I usually like to ACV plus shampoo together so I can get my hair so neat. So we're going to be doing that on the next video, so stay tuned for that to see the result of that because it's going to be crazy. But today I wanted to touch up on some things about buildups. What causes buildups, what are buildups, and how to avoid buildups. And I'm going to show you guys also my buildups, and I might get pretty gross in this video. Here is a little bit clip of that. I'm sorry for the thumbnail also. I know you guys don't like seeing gross stuff, but it's just real. You know, I can't hide it. I, I could be like, yeah, I have the best dreadlocks, but I, I, I'll be lying if I said it's all perfect like that. So this is basically what it's looking like on the buildups, but I'm going to talk about basically what causes buildups first. Number one thing that causes buildup is not washing your dreadlocks. It is still washing your dreadlocks, but it has a different technique to avoid or to get out all those buildups that your hair tries to contain. When, the way, when you apply ACV rinse, you usually use a baking powder. And when those two combine, it gives it this uh, mixture of chemicals that can help push out all those gunks, all those nastiness that your dreadlocks try to hold. It almost makes it very slippery. Like if you touch even the water, it's kind of like, it feels like a D4W or D W4 DW4, I think that's what it's called. I like that oil basically making it very, very, very slippery. I keep on doing this. So that the buildup can literally slip out of it. And the water helps because the water expands your hair out. And as soon as your hair comes out of there and starts to dry out, your hair starts to combine back together or it starts to get tighter. And through your dreadlock journey, water actually helps your dreadlocks lock up. So guys, wash your hair because that's the main measure way that you will end up having a lot of buildups throughout your journey. Second is basically dandruff and that can go under the subcategory of basically not washing your hair because dandruffs come naturally. They are a natural build up of dead skin that your hair tries to get rid of thus giving you a very dry or flaky little things called dandruffs. Those are caused actually by a few things one is basically dead skin or dryness of scalp the second way to actually come is by your scalp producing a lot of excess amount of oil uh, for a long time I used to think I had less I had a dry scalp or you know my hair is not producing oil and different things but I learned that my hair actually produces more oil thus giving my scalp a lot of excessive oil and resulting it to be dry and so don't don't worry guys if you guys have this problem there's actually a way to solve this problem and the best way to solve the problem if your hair produces so much oil is don't apply more oil to your hair and what I mean by that is like actual oil that you buy from the store don't try to apply too much of that if your hair is already producing so much oil then try to maintain your hair by washing it uh, once a week even you know with shampoo even if you have dreadlocks and by doing that you're actually getting rid of all the oil all the stuff that your hair is trying to produce or your scalp is trying to produce throughout your journey for me growing up I really struggled with dandruff and I used to always think like why the heck did I have dandruff I see my brother my big brother just I see my brothers and I'm like why don't they have this problem they have like little flakes here and there and basically it's because I figured out recently that my hair produces so much oil that it actually ends up drying out because it just doesn't have anywhere to spread it to because it doesn't have anywhere else to spread it to so that my hair can absorb because it's just like it's too much I released a video yesterday go check it out because it's one of the most inspirational journey you have ever heard from what he had which is a disease called alopecia 
uh, alopecia, I believe, alopecia, uh, something like that. Basically, his head having a bunch of spots that are bald all throughout his hair that he had to shave his hair every single two days or so for a long time at the age of eight or nine. So he literally struggled with his hair and for him to have a dreadlocks is actually a testimony and that's what he shared on the channel Pineapple World. So if you guys haven't checked that out, go check that out because it will inspire you, it will motivate you to continue going because if my brother can do it, you can do it. And, Dr and Pineapple World is set up literally for you guys to share your journey and also when you follow us on Instagram, we actually end up featuring you right away be just because you followed us so make sure you go check that out but I digress let's get back to what we were talking about I have seen recently dandruffs in a draw log when I started seeing this video first I almost couldn't believe it I started judging I was like what in the world would you let your dreadlocks get to that stage but then I had to rethink to myself what if he didn't have the ability to do so what if he didn't have a place to shower don't know how to do it disabled uh, you know a lot of factors can happen and so I was like I cannot judge this person uh, like the video I posted of this kid uh, with 16 years of dreadlocks he had a reason why he was growing that out but a lot of people even in the comments start commenting like this is nasty this is this and that without understanding the real reason why he has the journey why he has grown it out for 16 years and so before you judge anybody guys please be a mindful that everybody's journey is different and that's why pineapple world also is created to show your journey and how difficult or how you maneuver out of a lot of situations because everybody goes through something that's why you guys should go subscribe I know I'm, I'm putting a lot of shameless plug but I really love this channel and I know the capacity that's going to grow to we're gonna have celebrities and top influencers be interviewed on this channel so stay stay tuned for that because this is gonna be amazing coming back to my subject again this is my dandruff that I am struggling with right now uh, I used to struggle with it a lot more actually I used I used to talk about this all the time now I don't even talk about it much I just that I haven't washed my hair in a month and so I know personally that my hair has a lot of excessive oil so what I need to do is wash my hair and it will be Perfect though. Also, on the next video, I'm gonna be ACV rinsing my hair, and you will see the before and after, and you'll be surprised. But this is my drill locks and what it's currently at right now with the dandruff that it has inside of it. So don't judge guys, just look at that. If you guys have any advice, just comment down below. If you guys struggle with the same thing, comment down below your struggle was, what your struggle was with dandruff or anything like that, and how you were able to avoid it. The second biggest way that buildups happen is by using products, man. Quit using gels too much. Quit using shampoos too much. Quit using even ACV rinse too much. Quit using products too much on your dreadlocks. Dreadlocks should be more so naturally formed. You know, you shouldn't be doing it too much to your hair, especially those that apply so much gel and the gels that are not even good for you. I use Great Locks gel, and here's a plugin for GreatLocks.com because the gel is so amazing. It's a vegan product made specifically for dreadlocks and it actually has a maximum hold but you don't even have to apply so much and that's what I love about it you just apply just a little bit of it and boom for your dreadlocks and that's all you need to do and so here's a shameless plug for them but at the same time if you're using too much gel even after getting dreadlocks stop it stop it stop it stop it quit using too much products man I'm telling you that's gonna ruin your hair I'm telling you it's gonna affect your hair so much and so much so much and so much even for my journey when I bleach my hair I literally give it about three months or four months before I go to another hair color or another dye another bleach I don't bleach my hair every week or every day so I'm careful about it and that's why my hair is not going nowhere a lot of people that think that my hair gonna go somewhere it's gonna cut off it's gonna fall off it's gonna be dead it's not gonna make it the last tip I'm gonna give you guys also to getting rid of dandruff buildup is to rinse your hair very, 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 very well. What I mean by rinsing is I mean like literally rinse the mess out of it. The fact that you're using shampoo, the fact that you're doing ACV rinse, it can help your dreadlocks, but at the same time, if you don't rinse it out completely, then it will actually work against it versus helping it. And that's my final tip. So thank you guys for watching this video. But till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm I'm Actorverse. Stay tuned, guys. Make sure you comment down below how your dreadlock journey been with dandruffs and with buildups and how you were able to avoid them. And if you don't have anything to share, but you have a journey to share, go to Pineapple World and share it out on the Facebook group. And I thank you guys so much for 30,000 subscribers. Next week will be the, the week that I'm going to bring the new color. I almost spoiled what the color will be. But if you want to guess what the color will be, go guess down below. Love y'all. Peace out. God bless.